Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to finish a multi-part series of writing our own custom React hook. And this is one that I was trying to like squeeze in before the other videos, but I got delayed. Essentially I want to take the custom React hook that we wrote together and move it to TypeScript because why not? So to the code. So here we have the code. Um, it's a way to easily write a global event handler such that the code you write just looks like this. So like when somebody clicks, let's actually uh, comment this out for now um, and just use this. When somebody clicks on anywhere, we can get a nice little event handler there. But for our purposes, we want to convert this to TypeScript. So the first thing you always do when wanting to move something to TypeScript is to rename the file with the correct TypeScript extension. So in this case, I'm going to rename .js to .tsx because this is a TypeScript with React code inside of it. Um, this should still work as far as I understand it. Um, I might have to restart the build server because Webpack doesn't always play the best when we rename files, but let's see when things restart, if it's hunky-dory. It is, it's working, but I'm getting some type errors, which luckily React, the Create React app shows me on the page, but also because I'm using VS Code, my most loved editor, I get them in line in the window. You can see these nice little red squigglies here that shows me all the errors in the page, and I, live, breathe, die, and get reborn again through these red squiggles. So um, this is the actual custom hook itself, right? This is what we're using in all these places. Um, and we wanna actually start adding some type information. The first argument we know is a string. The second argument is a function that doesn't return anything. So let's just type those two things to begin with. So this event type is a string, and the handler is a function that returns nothing. So if we save that and wait for all the risk to change, we can see that we got some gone, but we still have some more over here, which is, I imagine, these E's. So this is saying that E has an implicit any type. In this TypeScript project, I have a uh, strict turned on, which says that if there's any implicit any types, TypeScript will scold you loudly. Um, so in this case, uh, I think I'm just going to say this is a event, which luckily for me exists. Um, but then also it's yelling because this handler ref, if we remember, is coming from this handler here and it's being given this argument of an event. So this current, right, is being passed this handler coming from here. And we've typed this as a function that takes in no arguments, which is a lie. <laughs> Uh, it's actually being given the event object. So let's actually say that it is. And presto jango, no more yelling. I wonder if I remove this, what happens? Nope, it still doesn't know what's going on. So I got to actually keep that typing there. So I save that just because I like to save things. And here we have another TypeScript error that it's saying type window and type global this is not assignable to type document or undefined. So up here where I have this, it's getting the implicit shape of like, so this is a destructured object off of this options object, right? This, sorry, this is the default object. This is destructuring the options object. Um, so I'm actually gonna make up here this interface called options and I'm gonna have enable the a Boolean that is there. And we can have uh, target be a, let's start with calling it a document because that's what the default is here. So we're gonna call this here and we're gonna see that these, this um, aligns with the options interface. And now we got some lots of red squiggles. Um, why, why is that? Here's red squiggle here. And this is where TypeScript can get a little bit confusing because all of a sudden I added this here and it's saying type this is missing the following properties from type options. It's saying that this default object is missing 
the properties from the type options in Ableton Target, but I have the default set here, so why is it complaining? Why? Why is it complaining over here that property target is missing in type, but required in, oh. Yeah, that's, that was a little scripted, wasn't it? Uh, it's saying it's required in type options. So that's where I made a little bit of a, as my son would say, a boo-boo. Um, I've made these two options required when they're actually not, because I actually have sensible defaults. So when I set that, I get a quiet whisper that React is uh, TypeScript happy with these typings. But here, it's not. It's saying that this type window is not assignable to type document. So um, window is not the same as document. So this is where things get a little bit weird with TypeScript and why I like to play within VS Code when dealing with it. Uh, I, I would imagine that using TypeScript without VS Code is immensely harder for the reason that you're just about you're going to see right now. Um, when I command click into document, I can actually navigate to the built-in types that TypeScript has for this. And this is what's interesting here is that there's two of them here. This is the global for React. This is a type for globals and there's the lib document. And in this case, I'm actually trying to provide, I'm trying to ask for um, objects that exist in the browser. In the, in the built-in DOM library. So I actually want to click into this one instead. And then here, where'd I go? Interface document extends all these things. And in our case, we're actually doing an event listener. So when I look at this list, and this is just like no real like heuristic, this is just instinct, unfortunately, but I can see no, these things don't make sense. But here I see global event handlers and I'm actually gonna click that. And does it take me there? take me there. Does it show me what's implemented? Okay, well, this is just too much noise, but I'm going to see this. This is what I do sometimes with TypeScript. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's wrong, but it works and it gets me forward so I can keep writing more code. This is an interface that, um, let's go back, document extends. And I'm going to guess that maybe window does as well because it's just global event handlers. So I'm going to actually take this and replace it here. You can actually see that that red squiggle went away. So now if I actually uh, oop, where'd it go? If I save this, no errors, if I go to the page, it's now rendering again. So that worked. That's kind of cool. So this is actually giving me a super type that both document and window use. And I think actually event type could be even more um, strictly typed. So if I go into here, let me see if I can poke around to see what I'm looking for. Global event handlers. Nope. I want. If I search for scroll, so there's scroll. I want just the. Okay. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is a long list of window global. So this is the window event map, which extends the global event handlers event map. So I'm going to click there. Ah, look at this. So this is all the events that really I should support. So actually I can grab this. And what I should be able to do is key of this. So there's no complaints right now. That means that if I were to change this to scroller, it yells at me because I've asked, I set up here that event type can only be one of the keys in this map. So any one of these keys and scroller is not a built-in browser event type. So of course it won't be there. So this is a nice way to make this even more strict. I save that. And of course, everything is still working as expected. So that's adding some TypeScript to your custom React hook. Hopefully you found that interesting. Also kind of see my dev process as well. Should be uh, enlightening to you. Uh, if you did find that edumatainable, let me know in the comments and tell your friends, family, loved ones, and pets. This pet coding community is underserved and I will do my part to make sure they know how to type arguments correctly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.